directly via preferential allotment. Blue Star, another one on your list out there. Considering a fundraising on August 3rd, the board is going to be meeting in for that. And this is going to be done through the issuance of equity shares, debt and warrants. Along, or for that matter, could be even preference shares, but would be by the way of private placement. So overall, that's the long and short when it comes to the stocks and news that you need to have in your mind. But let's navigate our, perform let's navigate our conversation along with the fundamental lines. And A.K. Prabhakar, Head of uh, Research, IDBI Capital, joins us to take this discussion forward. Good morning there. Good morning. All right, uh, Mr. Prabhakar, any difference in trend that you're seeing for the equity markets? We've seen um, FII being on the selling side for the last two, three odd sessions, especially after the Fed has uh, raised the rate hikes. Uh, do, you, do you see a change of trend in terms of FII anytime soon? And if that's the case, do you see a bit of... Uh, you know, losses coming in, or let's just say consolidation coming in for the broader markets? Yeah, no, there are a few things which are very interesting. You know, in the last four months, you know, from the lowest level, you know, Nifty has uh, given almost more than 20% return. So after, uh, you know, so four months of good rally and many stocks giving more than you now 30, 40% return in mid cap and small cap, there can be a pause for one, two months. You know, there are disappointment in the results. So that could be a major impact. And foreign funds, you know, the, they, there is a need and there is a want. So no, th that will differ. Maybe, you no, know, I don't track it very. But, you know, valuation-wise, there are few sectors and stock which are becoming attractive because the results are disappointing and they are correcting. There are few stocks and sectors which are rallying. Now, one side and uh, there you know, we need to take some profit. So it is a mixed bag. So I will not uh, you know, say it is you know, all hunky-dory. Sure. I mean, uh, let's talk about the trend that has been playing out overall in the large cap space also. You've seen how HDFC has performed. You've seen how m and got a shocker with that investment coming in RBL Bank. You see how Infosys took a beating after the shocking guidance. Essentially, these are all large cap companies. Do you think the, the sell-off, if at all, will be sharper in the frontline counterparts as compared to that of broader markets? See, uh, in the HDFC case, whenever you have a merger and the kind of upgrade they are showing, now they'll be opening about 1,500 branches this year and next year. That means, you know, the new branches take almost two or three years to break even. So that pain will be there in HDFC twins. And this is a bank which has given fantastic result in the last 25 years. And you know, now they are saying we will almost you know, uh, add branches. Last year, they added about 1,200. And coming year and next year, another 3,000 branches, which is huge. So when this happens, you know, underperformance is likely to be there. So I don't you know, think you know, we should worry more. But if you're a long-term investor, there is nothing to worry. So, you know, case by case, you know, there are pain points. For example, Mahindra. So, you now there is a con call, there is a result and con call. When they clarify, we will, you know, know what is the roadmap, you know, they're buying RBL bank. So, let us wait and watch, you know. At the post correction, I think Mahindra Mahindra looks very attractive to me. And, you know, if the clarification comes satisfactory, you now one should be a buyer in Mahindra and Mahindra. And you know, in the case of IT stock, you know, it is seasonal. You know. So you have you know, a high interest rate, which is bothering the globe. So I think, you know, but uh, I'm positive on IT. If you are looking at two to three years time frame, you know, one can buy. You know, we like Infosys, TCS, LTI, Mindtree. You know, these are good stock and these are bad times. So you have to do you know, slow accumulation in these stocks. They are not going to move in a hurry in the next six months to one year. But for a long-term investor, it, uh, in, these are opportunities to buy. So anything specific that you like within the IT basket? No, LTI, Mindtree and TCS is something I like. You know, Infosys, the valuation is very attractive at current levels. Also, let's talk about uh, Pharma. Since we have spoken about IT, which is also a defensive counterpart, let's talk about uh, Pharma for that matter. We've seen significant amount of momentum building in for these stocks, especially after CIPLA's guidance out there. More clearance coming in from US FDA. Valuations are still below their long-term averages. Talk about the FII ownerships, they are undervalued there. 
How are you looking at the space? Do you think opportunity is there? And if yes, which are the best that you'd like to pick? Ourselves have also surprised on the positive side. You know, I think you know Ajanta Pharma, Sun Pharma, Doctor Reddy. You know, all these are very good stock. Even Divi Lab. You no, know, and you know we even like uh, Gland Pharma, where the stock has corrected. You know, almost more than sixty percent in the last one year, and at current level, it very attractive. Uh, even Sinjin looks very good. You know, you know again, if it corrects, you know it has run up uh, too fast in the last one one and a half months. But if it corrects, you know, one can buy there also. So, you know, there are, you know, pockets where you can buy. Sun Pharma, Dr. Reddy, these are the leaders. Buy something where the huge correction and, you know, value will be created over a period of time. Sure. Uh, also, let's talk about, uh, you know, the entire primary market. How are you looking at that space? You have... Uh, 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 you know, banking, uh, NBFCs probably, which is going to be opening in for subscription. And we have Concord Biotech, essentially Junjunwala back company, which is going to be, uh, you know, opening in for subscription in a day or so. Does that interest you? The recent, uh, uh, you know, companies which have offered their equities within the primary market, does any of the option attract you at this point of time? So I have a very different view on IPOs. You know, it is not my cup of tea. You know, and I've been tracking markets for almost you know 33, 34 years now. And you know, equity, you know, IPO is just you know a fluke. If you if you are not there in the right stock, then the probability of you losing money is very high. I like to see companies where I have data of three to four years minimum. So if the data is for you know 10 years, I'll be even more happy. So new listed company or even three years old company, which is there in the street is something I don't look at because you know, for me, I need consistency. I need to see what is the roadmap of the... Uh, so for which I need data. So you know, IPOs don't give you so much data. So I normally stay away except for a few right. companies you know, where... All for example, DMART or HDFC Life. Now, everybody knew about these companies, you know, that is okay. But something on the new block, you know, where data is not available, I would stay away. Uh, Mr. Prabhakar, we got your point loud and clear out there. But let's talk about what's the frenzy that you see in, what do you make out of the frenzy that you see within the small cap and the mid cap shares, particularly small caps? Do you see this ending the same way as we saw in the rally that took place in 2018 and 19 with a big crash? Or is it just too pessimistic to look at it that way? See, now every bull market you know, has that mid-cap and small cap outperforming. We had a bad time about you know, six, seven months back where mid-cap and small cap corrected. Yeah. And, it, and now we are in the last five, six months, we are seeing a rally. So you now, always you know, Nifty is not doing anything major. Okay, will continue. Now, maybe we will have a odd correction, but this rally might continue. And you know, beyond a point when the valuation gap is very big, then Nifty will catch up. So this happens in every bull market. And maybe you know, election is you know, election around the corner in 2024 May. That can be something which is you know, which can pause this rally. Otherwise, I don't see anything which can pause the rally in mid cap and small cap. All right, so you see a pretty bullish trend playing out at least for this year or also for the year to come by? Yeah, no, we have never seen a rally like 2003-2008. After 2003-2008, that five-year rally, we have never seen anything like that. So it is missing. So you know, once things you know, come into that phase, then we might see it. You know, maybe it will start in 24 or 25 until 28 or 29, we might see it. So I'm very optimistic. No, there can be odd correction, but that would be an opportunity to buy. What gives you that sense of optimism apart from the fact that, sure, FII trends have been supporting until now. It's an election. It's in the run-up to the election year. Which are the other trigger points which drive the sense of euphoria for you? And given that, what are the pockets where you see this exuberance coming from? See, you now we we need to understand that you know the rally is just you know with 25 or 30 percent of the stock uh, happening, 75 percent is never has not participated. So it is not a overall rally. 
no so there are you know many sectors you know you take agrochemical you know the results are very disappointing they are at the lowest point so you know there are many things which are happening and you know the other side there is a huge capex getting built and you know government pli scheme has started to give lot of benefits you know defense as a space has started to do well but in the defense space also there are companies where it has not rallied you take for example bharat foods you know it is still looking attractive they have moved away from auto so there are you know lot of you no know, value which is there on the table but you know rally has not hap- happened you take logistic companies their results are not good you now and the stocks have also corrected but if you are looking at 3 to 5 years then logistic company can do very good and in a growing economy logistic is very important all right last question that i have is uh... how about the metal space there is this building momentum being seen within the space uh sure there how are you looking at the situation across the globe especially for non ferrous companies ferrous companies have also been doing well but hindalco in, in particular has been doing too well your assessment on the same and the trigger points behind the rally you know metal i don't think the rally is going to be in hurry you know we are, we are negative and you know we maintain our negative stance on metal so you know because of the global slowdown and data coming from china is not something positive and you know china is a major player so you know we need to watch china there so you know i like something which is india connected so metal is more to do with china so it is better for me to stay away in this all right so that's the word of caution coming in for the entire metal uh, basket but so we are going to leave it at that thank you so much for taking out the time and speaking to us as well